In the last video, I reviewed the latest edition of Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 10, which brings a Pixel 4 goodies out of the box that includes the latest a Pixel launcher, light wallpapers, all new navigation gestures, and more. In today's video, I will show you how to install Pixel Experience ROM Android 10 edition on any device. So as usual, I will be using the legendary custom ROM Beast, the Pocophone F1 or Poco F1 for demonstration purposes. Although the process will be the same for all devices, but if in case you get any errors regarding your specific Android device, check out XDA for more information. Now with that being said, let's roll the intro. Now before starting this video, I wanted to tell you a few things. Always back up your entire user data from your phone to avoid any data loss. Installing custom ROM requires to wipe some partitions which deletes user applications and in some scenarios you may end up formatting the whole device. So please back up your entire data from your phone to your computer or any cloud server. With that being said, the prerequisites of this video is you need your Android device should have an unlocked bootloader. If in case you are naive, Google is your best friend. Also, make sure you have a setup a TWRP custom recovery on your specific Android device. Once your everything is set, then head over to this website where you get to download the latest edition of Pixel ROM. From here, search for your specific Android device using the search box. As of now, by the time of recording this video, only a few Android devices from different OEMs are having a stable support of Android 10. In this case, my device is Pocophone F1 and I'm simply querying here. Uh, then you can see all the latest builds from the developer and choose the latest stable build and download it. Keep in mind, you don't need to download any G apps. Pixel ROM comes with a built-in Google Play services. So don't download Google Apps package separately and flash it. Similarly, this way you can download a Pixel ROM Android 10 edition for your specific Android device. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and use a search box again and search for Dumpling, so which is the device code name of OnePlus 5T. And you can see the Android 10 and Android 9 builds are in extent for this device. Meanwhile, it's downloading the Pixel ROM. I recommend you to open the XDA developers website and search for your specific Android device to get in-depth installation instructions. In this case, I will search for Poco F1 and here I can look for the Pixel ROM thread and I can read the instructions for my device and you can do the same for your Android device. Once the download has been completed, I'm going to go ahead and copy this ROM to the internal storage of my phone. If the TWRP recovery on your device supports a mounting SD card, you can copy the downloaded ROM into here. Now last and final step is flashing the ROM. So on your Android device, so in this case, I'm using a Pocophone F1 and it is running the latest MIUI 11, so which is a native stock ROM that includes all the latest firmware files and vendor implementations. Keep in mind, if you see any updates on your Android device from your OEM, try to update to the latest version. It's very important because all custom ROMs built on top of the latest stable vendor and firmware binaries. With that being said, now head over to settings here remove all lock screen passwords, pins, face unlock data, fingerprints, and also sign out from Google account and me account just to avoid any errors for a clean installation. Also make sure your device is having a sufficient battery juice. Now it's time to boot my device into TWRP recovery mode. For that, I have to use a volume key combination and power button. And mostly all Android devices use the generic key combinations, which involves both volume up and power key. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my phone completely once it's turned off. Now holding power plus volume up for a while will boot the phone into TWRP recovery mode.
When you see the TWRP logo, you can release these key combinations from here and then choose the backup option to back up the current existing ROM on your phone and move this backed up folder to the computer or laptop. Now once it's done, I choose the option called wipe, uh, then wipe the basic partitions for a clean installation. Here choose a data, system, Delwick and cache, then swipe the slider to wipe these partitions. If in case you see any error message as saying unable to mount the storage, reboot back to TWRP recovery and do it one more time. Once it's done, now choose install zip option and then choose the storage from here. In this case, I will choose the internal storage which is where I have copied the ROM. Then I select the pixel ROM from here and flash it. If in case you see any errors while flashing, uh, please refer XDA for troubleshooting. So in this case, as you can see, my Pocophone F1 is not showing any errors and the installation process may take some time. So please be patient and don't interrupt your device. Now once it's done, now choose wipe, uh, then select a format data and then type yes uh, to remove the encryption of internal storage. You can only perform this operation if you face any boot loops, but keep in mind this will completely wipe the whole internal storage data on your phone. So before performing this kind of operation, backup is always recommended. So once it's done, choose a reboot and reboot back to system. That's it, now your device should boot into the Pixel ROM based on Android 10. The initial boot may take a 2 to 10 minutes depending on your device. So sit back and relax and don't interrupt your device. As you can see, I have successfully installed the Pixel ROM on my Android device. It works like a charm and that's pretty much it guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, then hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So also check out our new website, link in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Royal. Peace.